Hi guys, this is Casey from Creative Live. We're here for today's Creative Photography Challenge. That challenge is Tilt Shift. Tilt Shift is awesome. Now, conventionally it was used for architectural photography, but we're not here to worry about that today. Today, we're making miniature environments. When you look at any miniature set or anything miniature in front of you, you're looking at it from the top down. So we're trying to replicate that effect. So what you'll need for this is your camera and a lens. Our camera settings for this, there's really only one main part that is the most important, that's your aperture. Now, ISO, you'd probably wanna keep it as low as possible, especially with this kind of sunlight. And your shutter speed, you really want it to just be somewhere where it'll keep your shot steady. Now, for the kind of light that we have today, I'm shooting at ISO 100 with a shutter speed at 320. And my aperture, this is the most important part, is at f8. This could fluctuate anywhere from f8 to f16. I keep it at f8 because it's a nice, it's, it's a nice amount and everything will be in focus. And that's what's important, is that everything in the shot is in focus. At the top of this hill is a fantastic spot. As you can see behind me, we have a great cityscape. And that's what we're looking for. We want houses to be far enough away for them to look really small, almost like Little, little tiny houses, little toy houses. And, and later in post, we'll be able to make, those, make that much more pronounced. If you wanna learn more, check out this class by Mark Munch, Landscapes Photography. Let's talk about what I'm looking for in this shot. Now, first of all, we have a lot of houses behind me. And there are certain things like a car driving through or a person walking that will look really, really cool if they're miniaturized. So I have all the elements in place that I'm looking for. There was a few cars driving through, and that's what I want for this photo. Now let's take it back to the studio to do some post-processing. So we're in the studio, and I'm not gonna go into full detail of all the things I would do to this image. Right now, I just wanna focus on tilt shift. So the first thing is I'm in Lightroom, which is where I process all my images to start with. I'm gonna right click and say, edit in Photoshop. Now you see at the top of the screen, I'm gonna go to where it says filter. Blur gallery, and there's even an option for tilt shift. They make it really straightforward and simple. What's important here is that we're again looking for where in this image we're gonna find the most amount of interest. Now for me, and this image in particular, I really like this group of housing, and I really like the way that these cars are set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a tilt on where, this, where the, the selective focus is. I'm gonna pull this up, and then these outside lines actually control how fast the focus will move into the frame. I personally like it to be a very, very strong blur, and I'll even move the blur amount a little higher. But as I'm set up right now, and once it's done updating, I can just hit enter, and I'm done. That's, that's all you really need to do. Now, any further adjustments that I would like to do, I can do within Lightroom once I save this image. As a TIFF file, you have a lot of information, so you can still play with it, past working on it through Photoshop. Let's see what this looks like. It's great. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I can look at the difference between the two directly. So that's what our tilt shifted image looks like. And that's what the, the original image looks like. Um, as you can see, it makes quite a difference and it's so easy to do. It takes almost no time at all. We'd love to see your work. So using the hashtag Creative Photo Challenge on Instagram, make sure to share your photos with us. Or if you haven't already, go to creativelive.com slash CPC to sign up for more challenges directly to your inbox.